Silence can speak louder than words, especially in relationships. Sometimes what's left unsaid can be more telling than what is said. But today, we're focusing on specific phrases that, when spoken, should make you pause and reflect. These red flags are important to recognize, as they can signal deeper issues in a relationship. Let's explore these six phrases. The first red flag phrase is I'm fine when a woman says I'm fine in a tone that doesn't match the words. It's often a sign that she's anything but fine. This phrase can mean she's upset, hurt, or angry but doesn't want to talk about it. Pay attention to her body language and facial expressions. If something seems off, gently ask her if she wants to talk about what's really bothering her. Next up. We have do whatever you want this phrase might sound like she's giving you freedom, but it can actually be a test. She might be feeling neglected or unappreciated. And this is her way of expressing frustration. Instead of taking the statement at face value, consider asking her how she truly feels about the situation and find a solution together. The third red flag is we need to talk this phrase often precedes a serious conversation. It can indicate that there's a significant issue she wants to address. Don't ignore this. Take the time to listen and understand her concerns. Open communication is key to resolving any problems in a relationship. Another phrase to watch out for is it's whatever. This can signal indifference or resignation. She might feel like her opinions or feelings don't matter, leading her to shut down emotionally. If you hear this, it's a sign that you need to make an effort to show that her thoughts and feelings are important to you. Number five is, I don't care similar to, it's whatever this phrase can indicate that she's feeling disconnected or hopeless about the situation. It's crucial to address this and find out what's causing her to feel this way. Show her that you do care and are willing to work through any issues together. Lastly, we have you never this phrase is often used to highlight a pattern of behavior that's been bothering her. Whether it's you never listen or you never spend time with me. It's important to acknowledge her feelings and understand what's causing her frustration. Take action to change the behavior and show her that you're committed to making things better. So, there you have it, six red flag phrases that every guy should be aware of. Remember, the power of silence and what's left unsaid can be just as important as the words spoken. By recognizing these red flags, you can improve your communication and strengthen your relationship. Meet Jake and Lisa, a couple who have been dating for a year. They are happy, but like every relationship, they face their share of challenges. The story takes a turn when Jake begins to notice some red flags in what Lisa says. Jake and Lisa are sitting on the couch. Lisa looks upset. Jake can tell something is wrong. Lisa says she's fine, but her tone and body language say otherwise. This is the first red flag. Concerned, are you sure? You feel disappointed. Do you want to talk about it? Sigh, it's nothing, really. When you hear I'm fine in another tune, don't just accept it. Show you care and gently ask if there's more. Jack is going out with friends. Lisa looks coldly disappointed, do what you will. Jack is shocked. He knows Lisa usually supports his outings. Do what you want can be a test. Just don't go with it. Address underlying feelings. Serious, we need to talk. Jake's heart sinks. He knows it means something serious. This is a red flag signaling important issues. Turns off the TV, sure, let's talk. What do you think I've been feeling really stressed about us lately? Don't skip, we need to talk. It is important to listen and understand the concerns raised. How about Italian tonight? Whatever it is. This casual phrase is a red flag that indicates indifference. Lisa's disconnect is palpable. It looks like you're not really into this, 
What do you really want to do? I just don't want to make all the decisions. Lesson learned whatever it is often means more than indifference. Show that you care about her choices. How about a beach trip this weekend? I don't care is a red flag that indicates a deep disconnect it's time to solve Jack's problem. Concerned you seem distant. Is something bothering you? I feel overwhelmed with everything right now. Lesson learned when you hear I don't care it's important to dig deep and find out what's really going on. Angry you will not listen to me. You never is a red flag phrase that highlights recurring problems it is important for Jack to acknowledge and resolve this. I'm sorry you feel that way. I talk about how I can be a better listener. I just need to feel heard and understood. You never indicates a pattern that needs to be addressed, accepted, and work to improve. So what can we learn from Jack and Lisa's story? These red flag phrases indicate that something deeper is going on. Here's how you can apply these lessons to your own life. Listen actively. Meet Mark and Emily, a couple who have been together for two years. They're happy, but like any relationship, they face challenges. This story begins with a typical evening at home. Frustrated Mark. I've had such a rough day at work. Mark is distracted and only half listening. Aha, uh -huh, that's tough. Emily feels unheard and unimportant. This is a common issue when we don't listen actively. Gently, Emily, I'm sorry I wasn't really listening yesterday. How was your day today? Surprised it was stressful, but I appreciate you asking. This time, Mark listens actively. He maintains eye contact, nods, and shows genuine interest in what Emily is saying. Relieved I had a meeting with my boss, and it didn't go well. I felt really unappreciated, dot concerned. I'm sorry to hear that. What happened? Opening up, he criticized my work in front of everyone. And it felt humiliating, dot empathetic, that sounds awful. No one deserves to be treated that way. How are you feeling now? Softening a bit better, now that I've talked about it. Thank you for listening, Mark. By actively listening, Mark not only helps Emily feel heard and valued, but also strengthens their emotional connection. So what can we learn from Mark and Emily's story? Active listening is more than just hearing words. It's about understanding and connecting with the person speaking. Here's how you can apply these lessons in your own life. Show appreciation the key to strengthening relationships. Meet Alex and Sarah a couple who have been together for three years. They love each other deeply, but recently Sarah has been feeling a bit unappreciated. This story begins with a typical morning at their home. Alex is getting ready for work, and Sarah is making breakfast. Smiling, I made your favorite breakfast today. Distracted, thanks. Grabs a bite and rushes out the door. Sarah feels a bit hurt that Alex didn't acknowledge her effort. This happens several times, and Sarah starts to feel taken for granted. Alex's friend Mike visits and they chat concerned, Hey Alex, how's everything going with you and Sarah? Shrugging fine, I guess. Why do you ask? Gently, I notice she seems a bit down lately. Have you been showing her appreciation? Alex starts to realize that he might have been neglecting to show Sarah how much he appreciates her. The next morning, Alex makes a conscious effort to show appreciation, smiling, good morning, Sarah. Thank you for making breakfast. It really means a lot to me. Surprised and pleased you're welcome, Alex. Alex continues to make small gestures of appreciation throughout the day. He leaves a note on the fridge, sends a sweet text and helps with dinner. Alex and Sarah are sitting together in the evening, smiling Alex. I've noticed you've been really appreciative lately. It's made such a difference. Thank you. 
Sincerely, I'm sorry I didn't show it enough before. You do so much, and I'm really grateful for you. Sarah feels valued and loved, and their relationship becomes stronger. By showing appreciation, Alex rekindles their connection and brings more joy into their daily lives. So what can we learn from Alex and Sarah's story? Showing appreciation doesn't take much effort, but it can have a profound impact on your relationships. Here's how you can apply these lessons in your own life. By consistently showing appreciation, you can strengthen your relationships and create a more positive, loving environment. I hope you found this story and these tips helpful. If you did, please like, comment, and subscribe. Hit the bell icon to get notified whenever we post a new video. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.